Apple has been consistently making some of the best cameras on smartphones every year and it proves that the Apple's iPhone 15 will continue to level up that camera performance again this year. In fact, we expect to see more meaningful upgrades with this year's iPhone series compared to the previous generations. The center of attraction this year would be a brand new main camera and the spec bumps coming with it that I will be giving the details shortly. So today again, we will talk on leaks and rumors for the year 2023 iPhone 15 camera upgrades and specifications, as well as the possible release date for all Apple products especially the iPhone 15 Pro Max or probably better still, the iPhone 15 Ultra. Right now, we are approaching just less than one month to the launch of the iPhone 15 series by Apple, and lots of leaks and reports are still coming in. As of the time of making this video, we have three main updates centered around the iPhone 15 primary cameras especially on the iPhone 15 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. iPhones have some of the best camera systems in the market, but one thing they have been sorely lacking so far is a telephoto camera that can not zoom at more than just three times. Well, 2023 might finally be the year Apple introduces such an upgrade, and it will likely be exclusive to the most expensive model, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. These rumor upgrades sound very promising, fascinating and we all are optimistic about them just because the cameras are getting some bumps again this year. So, based on the leaks so far till this time, the first rumor upgrade is on the main camera of the less expensive iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 Plus, which are said to get upgraded to a brand new 48 megapixel. Initially, it was thought that it would be the same 48 megapixel image sensor found in the iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max from last year, but instead, it will be a different 48 megapixel sensor, while still larger than the 12 megapixel on the iPhone 14, it would be smaller compared to the ones featured on the 14 Pro models. If the new non-Pro iPhones really get this upgrade, it would mean a significant jump in quality both in bright light conditions and even more so in low light photography. Ultimately this year, there is a high tendency that despite the fact that we got a 48 megapixel sensor in the iPhone 14 Pro as well as in the iPhone 14 Pro Max last year, the biggest upgrade will be the iPhone 15 Pro Max camera getting a fresh out of the box, a brand new sensor coming with the 48 megapixel this year with a new zoom capacity on the telephoto, made by Sony. And rumors have had it for a very long time and it looks like it's at long last going to turn into a reality on the iPhone 15 Pro Max this year. And with that, it's most probable we will get an optical zoom of around 5 to 6 times this year compared to the 3 times telephoto zoom that we got on the iPhone 13 Pro Max and the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Yes, only the 15 Pro Max model might be getting this improved telephoto lens, with the regular iPhone 15 Pro retaining the 3 times telephoto zoom capacity like last year. This optical zoom implies that at long last Apple's venturing into zoom capacities comparable to other Android rivals in the market like the Google Pixel with its 5 times optical zoom, and furthermore on its venture finally to rival the Samsung with its 10 times optical zoom capacity on the S23 Ultra is eventually upping the game. But of course, the 5 to 6 times optical zoom could possibly not be a big deal, particularly like I recently said that the S23 Ultra has a 10 times optical zoom capacity, and with that exception of probably Apple likewise making a little over 10 times zoom capacity. On the second upgrade, rumor has it that the new upgrade coming along with the 48 megapixel sensor this year is also having a bump in the focal length of the primary camera, which will be getting wider from 2.4 to 2.2, allowing more light into the sensor for low light photography and producing even better, clearer, sharper and less noisy images compared to last year's or the current iPhone 14 Pro and Pro Max image quality which quite frankly are still very fantastic. And besides the increase in megapixels, there are a few other notable improvements that this change could bring. Even though the phones would likely use pixel binning, a process where multiple pixels are used as one to take shots at 12 megapixel as the iPhone 14 Pro does, the images should still have better detail. However, what would truly make this amazing news is if Apple enables the Pro RAW format, which captures much more information for the camera to work with and can produce outstanding images. Still, there is a good chance Pro RAW would remain, but still a Pro exclusive feature. 
The other more likely benefit of the 48 megapixel camera is the ability to crop on the sensor and achieve two times lossless zoom. In other words, you get a two times zoom without visibly losing image quality like you do when you digitally zoom in. This would also mean better looking portrait shots as the background would naturally be more blurred out and appear closer to the subject. The third upgrade could have a lot to do with the new digital zoom capacities, and as we've heard, the upcoming iPhone 15 Pro Max could have between 30 and up to 50 times zoom abilities compared to the 15 times digital zoom capacity we have right now on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the great news for all is that the new A17 Bionic chipset coming into the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max this year is powerful enough to do so much incredible photo processing and giving us even cleaner pictures. And even with all that so much great joy for all these new features coming into the iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max this year, it is important to note that these are all just rumors and leaks, and the final design and features of the iPhone 15 models may differ from what has been reported. However, based on the leaks and Apple's history, it is expected that the iPhone 15 models will always have other new features. And now according to recent leaks, the upcoming iPhone 15 series smartphones for the 2023 year models are rumored to come with significantly larger batteries compared to their predecessors which will also have the iPhone 15 series stay much more longer even with the new camera specs and the powerful A17 chipset configuration and ratings. The iPhone 15 will be equipped with a 3,877 mAh battery, up from 3,279 mAh on the iPhone 14, about an 18% increase. The larger iPhone 15 Plus will reportedly feature a 4,912 mAh battery, expected to be the largest battery to debut in an iPhone to date, which is higher than the 4,323 mAh battery on the iPhone 14 Plus, about 13.6% bigger. Meanwhile, the more expensive iPhone 15 Pro will be equipped with a 3,650 mAh battery, up from the 3,200 mAh cell on its predecessor the iPhone 14 Pro, about 14.1% larger. And the top-of-the-line iPhone 15 Pro Max will reportedly be equipped with a 4,852 mAh battery, which is larger than the 4,323 mAh unit on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, about 10.9% better. This means that unlike the company's existing models, the iPhone 15 Plus could be equipped with a larger battery than the iPhone 15 Pro Max. As for the release date, the iPhone 15 is expected to be released in mid-September, based on Apple's release history in the last few years. The release date for the iPhone 15 will likely be announced a week or so before the actual release, with the event happening around the beginning of September. Everything known and said so far here about the iPhone 15, including the price for the iPhone 15 up to the iPhone 15 Pro Max or the iPhone 15 Ultra are leaks and rumors and could possibly not be as the same as when the products come out. The prices for the iPhone 15 and the iPhone 15 Pro are expected to be similar to those of the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Pro. The iPhone 15 Pro Max or iPhone 15 Ultra will reportedly start at $1,099 for the 128GB version, with the 1TB version expected to cost $1,899 and the iPhone 15 Pro is expected to start at $999 for the 128GB version. While the 1TB version may cost $1,799. The iPhone 15 and iPhone 15 mini are expected to have a starting price of $699 and $799 US dollars respectively for the 64GB version, and the iPhone 15 Ultra's price is currently unknown. And that's about it for this episode on the leaks and rumors coming in for the 2023 iPhone 15 series. So, if you enjoyed this episode and you are optimistic like I am, kindly like the video and subscribe to this channel for more instant updates on the Apple iPhone models as well as on the Samsung Galaxy S series smartphones models. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.